Yes, it is my business. All of it. You didn't indicate once in there anything about the reason I'm here or my past. Uh, eh, if you say so. I do. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. But today, you need a cough and a cloak. Understood. Maybe an ass, but it's probably really good at his job. Sooner or later, the night's watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Hmm. Unfamiliar faces. That seems to indicate that that was a new character. Ouch. The last we heard, Asher was in. But who knows? I could be wrong. They took him off a corpse cart. <laughs> yeah. And he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> At least if he still eats his shit. Don't be a more brand. Soldiers are drunk again. And we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Hmm. Huh. Kind of half expected them to see me. Well, oh, they are going to see me. Oh, he knows. He knows. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? Who's hideous? Had a run in with Waldo Clay. He's leaning on a girl. Should have buried him with the corpses. Real shame about your leg, Lucas. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at her just kind of skirting along there. <laughs> Didn't look great. Uh, who's this boner? We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Go around. Move aside, soldier. Is he a... quite comfortable? Thank you. Oh yeah, he's a Whitehall. Threats. I'm just going to state the obvious. And you will move. Yeah, that's what I thought. Put you on notice. That also doesn't seem like a very Game of Thrones phrase, but I like it. Oh, his arm's clipping through the hair. It's not great. <laughs> uh, I joke and I tease, but this is way, like, Technologically speaking, it's way further along than any of The Walking Dead and Wolf Among Us was. And actually, Wolf Among Us was, was quite an improvement, too. I liked Wolf Among Us a lot. It's ridiculous. You're treating them the like game keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Don't think you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. Yeah, I was just going to say, that's it's not your place to... My lord raise any comeuppance. And now I'm here, so I can shut all you up. Roderick. My boy. You're kind of, it's kind of hard to stand. you <laughs> I've been, I've been eyeballing that chair since I walked in. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. I mean, if you two weren't bitching at each other. It's good. It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. You're not here to talk. Yeah, let's... we got stuff to do. Perhaps yeah. we should get started. Yeah. And no more pissing contest, please. It's irritating. 
And you know our situation is grim, the Lord. Oh my we God. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. They can think all they want. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsey stole them. I told you. I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting your lord. Good. Dead. And Ryan a hostage. What have you done? Shut up. Nothing. Seriously. I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves. <laughs> Don't you see this is what they want? <laughs> uh, uh, allies. We have none left, my lord. We've heard little from the Glovers since the Iron Great. Took deep with Who forgot to go to the Allies store? Grayson and Brownborough were all slaughtered at the Twins, and the rest of our allies are terrified of the Bolts. Hmm. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, that much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena had something, though. Yeah, it's true. You're it's a gamble, but... Oh! Damn! Why? Why is she coming here? Oh, alright. Well, I mean... Yeah, it's true. Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. Yeah, it is a gamble. Uh, man I used to be. You can still make her happy, Roderick. And she can do the same for you. Yeah, and marriage for convenience was not a new thing back then. Hell, it's still a thing now. You starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Uh, Keep him drunk. It's fine. Yes, my lord. Now, there's nothing more to discuss. Even though drunk dudes in a village full of chicks, eh, uh, maybe that wasn't the best choice. It's time to light the iron torches. Yes. I don't know what that means. Welcome back, my lord. It's got to be back. Yeah, I probably should have gone with starving them out, because even if they incited violence or started a riot or whatever, they'd be hungry. They wouldn't put up much of a fight. How is your song coming? Ethan always helps me with music. Ethan was like the one thing. Ethan was like the one thing about this that made me kind of like start to turn around. Like it was, it was a slow start with episode one, and then Ethan was like kind of made me turn around, and be like, you know what, this could be this could be an adventure, and then it's like, oh, now it's a revenge quest, <laughs> basically. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. Her workings stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. And we got Asher on his way too. Asher would could be back up. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table setting. And weddings tend to not go very well here. Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And Mm, something nice after that. Mm -hmm. And the children are ever in our thoughts. A lovely sentiment, Mira. I can't tell she likes sentiment or not. <laughs> and the seal. Here you are. Oh, are there 
any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. Why does it name sound familiar? I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Oh, do you again? Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. Creepy rat boy. Still don't trust you, because you could be working for anybody. It's from my mother. She asked that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenda remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah. Hint, hint. It's my help she's after, isn't it? Well, I mean... Most would shy away from asking such things. <clears throat> she knows you're very influential. She's not entirely wrong. Yeah. A letter from me could encourage the Glen. Oh, I was very nervous about that button press. <laughs> but it wouldn't be very discreet. You'd be forcing their hand. We don't have time for so. Mira, you have been so patient, so loyal. Your loyalty will not go unrewarded. But I'm seeing grandmother today. She'll have some ideas about your brother. Oh, okay. I was anticipating some disappointment there. She's subtle, but very effective. I just said we don't have time for subtle. <laughs> Whatever. As long as it gets the job done. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. Now, if she wasn't a major character in the show in any way, shape, or form, just then when she walked out the door, I would have had a bad feeling that she was going to die or, like, backstab me. Oh, yeah. I'm going to finish our homework. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter. Uh... Nope. We're staying loyal. I'm sorry, Roger. Sir Maynard, you are here. Wait, I didn't understand that choice. Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Sir Wasn't Maynard. that the man's breath smells like a brew house? I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? God, you were s God, you were such a high schooler. I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk, if you don't mind. What about? Well, it's... we really should get these letters sent first. Okay, you brought it up. backing down on me. I didn't understand that choice. I didn't choose duty over Roderick. Roderick's still going to get the help he needs. Marjorie's going to get the job done. This probably isn't going to take a little longer. Everything's going to plan. Oi, fuckhead. You might be new here, but you're in my spot. Why is this your spot? Find, Find out on the spot. Fucking answer. Most of you will be dead within a year. 